What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we're doing a remake of one of my first lessons on this channel. Today we're drawing Charmander from Pokemon. Let's begin on the top left side of our page and draw a half circle for the top of the head. So we're going to start on the outside. Start by going up towards the top. Just going to round this out. Go all the way across. And then back down on the right. Let's go all the way back over towards the left and draw the bottom edge of the eyelid. We curve this down and then in. And then we'll round up the top of the eye. We go up, round this out, and then pull that down towards the side of the head. Let's line up the inside corner of the eye all the way over towards the right. Draw the bottom edge of the eyelid going out and then up. And we'll connect the ends with that same curve. Go all the way around towards the top and then back down on the right. Let's add a highlight along the top edge of the eyes. Starting on the left, we're going to draw an oval. Going all the way around, and then back up, and do the same thing on the right. And now we'll trace the outside of the pupil. Starting from the inside corner, start with a short angle line going up and in. Just going to trace that highlight, going around, and then up toward the side. Angle down and out. And we'll fill the pupil in black. Now on the right side, we want to see the outside edge of the pupil. Starting from the top, curve this out, and then down. Let's go to the inside corner of the eye, draw a short angle line going up, trace the highlight going around and then up towards the side, angle down and out, and it will fill the pupil in black. Let's add that fold along the inside edge of the eye. Starting on the left, curve this up and then out. Line this up on the right, go in the opposite direction. Now we're going to move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Let's line up with the outside of the eye, step down, and then curve the mouth coming down and then in. Now we're just going to bend that down towards the center. Let's work our way up along the right side. Start by going up and then out. And bend that up towards the eye. Let's go back to the left and draw the bottom of the mouth. From the outside, we're going to step in, curve the mouth coming down, round this out. Just going to pull that up towards the right corner of the mouth. And now we're going to add in some fangs. From the left side, come down and then up like a V, add one on the right. And I'll add two small fangs along the bottom. Going up and then down. One more on the right. Now on the left side, we're going to draw the edge of the tongue. Starting from the bottom, curve up and in underneath the mouth. Let's move to the center and draw the nostrils. We need a gap, we're going to draw two short angle lines. One on the left, and one on the right. Let's go all the way back over towards the left side and round out the cheek. We're going to start from the base of the eye, curve this out, and then down around the corner of the mouth. Round out the head. I'm just going to pull that in towards the chin. I'm just going to bend that back up towards the right side, to right about there. And then going over towards the right side, I'm going to come straight down, bend the head coming in towards the back of the neck. Now from here we're going to work our way down the right side of the body. Let's start from the base of the neck, we're going to draw the top of the arm. Going out and then down, and we'll add in the fingers. Going out with a short line, down and in. Let's add two more fingers. Going out, pull that back in, add one more point. Going out, it's going to blend into the arm. Coming down, then the arm coming up towards the body. And we'll add the thumb on the inside. Start with an angled line, pull that back in. Now we're going to tuck the body in underneath the arm. From the inside, we'll step out, curve the body going out, and then down toward the thigh. I'm going to overlap the thigh on top of the body. I'm going to step in, curve the leg going out, down, and then bending that in. Let's line up the top of the leg on the inside, curve in, and then back out. 
I'm just gonna bend this down towards the heel. Let's add in those claws. We're gonna start from the heel, curl the foot going out and then down. And then from the point, we go up, round this out, and then pull that back down towards the bottom. And then we'll layer two more claws in behind, starting on the side, go out and then down. Go up, tuck that in behind. Do that one more time. And then from the top of the last claw, curl the foot going up and in underneath the thigh. Now that we've drawn the right side of the body, let's move over and draw the left side of the body tucked in behind the thigh. We're going to start underneath the head. Start by curving out, and then round out the body, and then just pull that in behind the leg. And then we'll continue this curve over on the right side of the leg, going out, and then up towards the end of the tail. Let's add a slight curve, going up and then down. Now the tail's gonna get thicker as we come back in towards the leg. Come so down, and then bend that in. Let's draw that patch in the center of the body. We start over on the left side, curve up towards the chin, bend this out. Just gonna tuck this in behind the thigh on the right. Let's go to the bottom of the tail, step up, and add that trim, going out, we pull that all the way up toward the end of the tail. Now that we've drawn in the body, we can tuck the left arm in behind. Let's start underneath the chin. Start by curving out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll draw the first finger going up and then down. Let's add in two more fingers. We'll go out, pull it back down and in. And then one more, coming down and out. And then pulling that back in. Let's pull the arm back in behind the body. Start by coming down and then bending that up. We're also gonna tuck the left leg in behind the body. Let's line up the top of the thigh over on the left, curve the thigh going out and then bending that in. And then we'll go back underneath the body, curve the leg going out and then down, curve in and then down towards the heel. Now we're gonna work our way out towards the claws. We go out, Bend that down. Let's draw on the first claw. Going up and pulling that back down. And we'll stack two more claws in behind. Going out and then down. Go up and then down in behind. And then one more time. And then from the top of the last claw, we're going to curve the foot going up and in underneath the thigh. Now let's move back and add that flame on the end of the tail. Start on the left side, start by curving in and then back out. Round this out, pull that back in, and we'll add a point, coming in and then down. Let's work our way up towards the top, coming in and back out. Just gonna curl this around and back in towards the top, keeping this out and then down. Now we're gonna work our way back down towards the tail. Curving this out, rounding it out, and pulling that back in. And we'll add one more point. Going out, and tapering that back in. And then we'll separate the top of the flame. Curving in and up, coming in and then down. Going out and then up. Let's pull this out towards the side. Let's go to the bottom, curve around and then out. Come in and then down. And we'll add one more point. Going up and then down towards the tail. And that's pretty much it. There's Charmander from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.